Well, hello everybody. Um, my voice is going to come in and out because I'm still not feeling well. So I wanted to show you an easy memorial dessert, 4th of July, whatever you want. You can change out your fruit to anything you want also in the jar. So I'd like to say thank you for all the veterans past and present out there. Thank you for your service. Okay, let's get started. Where I'm not feeling well, I have bought an angel food cake. And here's some Cool Whip. You could make your own. I have a fantastic recipe on angel food cake and blueberries and strawberries. Mine are frozen. And a little trick I do if I'm having a barbecue, um, or if not, I like to put a spoon on the side. So let's get started. I'm just going to take, my hands have been all washed, everything's clean. It's going to take a piece of cake like this and cut it just like that. And you just want to cube the cake. What's everybody doing for Memorial Day? My dad's getting out of the hospital, so we'll be getting him, or I'll be getting him. And you're going to cube it like this. Now you can put it in a jar. You can put it in a fancy little plastic cup. Whatever you want to serve yours with. But in the summertime, we like to have parties. So I use a mason jar with a cover. And I'm going to show you how I do it. We're going to start with putting some angel food cake. Just like this at the bottom. You can use fresh berries but um, I did not because I didn't feel like stopping at the store. It's like one more stop. And I like them when they're frozen because when they are and you have an event, by the time you get taken, taken this out to serve it, it's already unthawed and it's perfect. So you wanna take some blueberries. And you wanna put them in just like These are Maine blueberries and Maine strawberries. Then you want to take a strawberry, and you can cut this if you'd like. Put it in like that. Cool Whip is still kind of frozen, but you're going to put it in like that. I don't like to hit my jars. absolutely drives me insane when I have to get them. So it's going to be layered and it's going to be really pretty. So then you're going to cube up some more and you can push it down with your fingers and push it with a spoon. Put some more blueberries. Strawberries, just like this. Let's see here. Just like that. Look how pretty that's coming out. Then you want to take, and I have my Grammy spoon. Take some more. You know, just put it right in. And then what I do, if anybody wants more whipped cream, they can have it. I have it at the table. And then I take a strawberry and I plant it right there, just like that. And that's what it's gonna look like. It's very pretty very festive. Then I'm going to take the lid of a canning jar and put it on. Then I'm going to take the screw cover. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. 
like I said, you can cut these strawberries, but when they have flour, I just like breaking it apart myself because they are frozen. And when they're fresh, you can quarter them if you want. I take twine or I take ribbon, whatever I have. And I buy spoons and I just happen to have one in the cellophane pack or you can just take it out, whatever you want. You can put it up like this or down like this. Then what you do is you wrap your twine around it like this. And then you just make a little bow. So they have the spoon right there. And this makes a nice gift. Even if you go to someone's house and you'll say, I'll bring something, you could bring this. So there you have it. A red, white, and blue dessert. You can use Memorial Day. You can switch out the fruit. And then if you attach a spoon, you don't have to worry about it. It's all good. So thank you for coming along. I'm sorry, I still have the flu. Um, but I wanted to get a video out because Ray wants a couple of these. And you can throw these in the cooler if you're going for a ride. Take them to a friend. Have them for a picnic. There's so many things you can do. Just in a jar. Okay, folks. Thank you very much. If you give me thumbs up, if you could watch the whole video, I'd appreciate it. So YouTube could watch that. I'm having a lot of watch time on my channel. And like I always say, you never know what's going to be on my video. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow if I can talk. Bye now.